Hello, this is Michael Nunley, and welcome to another episode of The Gospel of Comics. Today we're going to talk about how to make comic book disciples. And by that I mean people who not just become fans of comic books as a medium and their awesome characters, but want to go out and get other people interested too. Um, so uh, today we're going to discuss the uh, some some quick tips on uh, maybe getting somebody to try a comic that hasn't done it before. Um, the, the number one easiest way to do that is um, you have to have a common frame of reference. You have to have a common uh, perspective. That is usually done by movies or TV shows um, that are done from uh, comics that were made. Um, one of the things uh, I, I like to do is uh, talk about the uh, original stories that were inspired some of these TV shows. Like, um, you know, I I'm a big fan of the Preacher Show. Uh, it's a it's a great one. I've had a couple talks with people about it, but you know, having having the series having the series on hand uh, to read all the time is of course always awesome. But um, it also helps for the gospel of comics. Um, you, you can say, hey, you know, if you like if you like that show, uh, you should check out the uh, original material by uh, Garth Ennis on the DC Vertigo line. Um, let's just say no punches are pulled here, kind of a thing. Um, so you know, it, it's 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 instantly recognizable because people see it on TV all the time. Um, but then uh, there's like uh, the new uh, the new Swamp Thing uh, it just came out on DC Universe, right? You want to get people interested uh, that that want to they want to know about that one. You can you can point them, of course, towards the uh, the new Fifty Two stuff, which which uh, is of course excellent. Scott Snyder did a great run there at, at the beginning. Um, but uh, you can also point them back towards the, 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 the classic stuff, the stuff that really made Swamp Thing Swamp Thing uh, by, by Alan Moore. Um, these, are, these are things that one, uh, if you haven't read, you, I think you should read them too because it's just flat out classic literature. Um, but also uh, because when you're, when you're uh, recommending stuff to other people, your own personal testimony is going to be the most uh, valuable part of that exchange. If you can tell them, you know, oh, well, I heard about a comic, uh, you know, it might, it might be good, or you might want to check out this title, it's usually pretty good. You don't want to do any of that for a first recommendation. You want something that they're uh, already uh, interested in, something that has their interest and that they're willing to try. The idea is here is to get them to appreciate the the medium of comics itself. Uh, again, this is the the water rises us all type of concept. Um, so there's uh, like I said, there's there's stuff like referencing shows, right? But uh, and to close up here, um, I want to tell a little anecdotal story about a time I had uh, uh, <clears throat> got somebody to read a comic. Um, Judge Dredd, uh, one of my favorite characters of all time, uh, was a 2000 AD character originally, right? But um, uh, Anthrax, back in the 90s, did a song called I Am The Law that uh, is, is about Judge Dredd. And <laughs> I, heard a guy, I heard a guy talking, to, the song mentions the Apocalypse War uh, storyline. But because they said apocalypse, you know, in the in the in the phrase, the guy thought this was like an angels and demons war kind of a thing. And I said, no, actually, it was a battle between mega cities. And he's like, oh, really? Wow, that must have been awesome. And I bust out this bad boy. I said, well, guess what? Uh, the apocalypse war was really awesome. You should totally check it out. After you read this, I think you will understand that song a lot better. <laughs> uh, he agreed and. He ended up liking the comic, uh, but um, anyway, the 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 idea is that there are comics out there, lots of them, 
that deal uh, that are either made specifically from comic stories or there's stuff that's made uh, about things that are already known like Star Wars or Star Trek or, or you know, Swamp Thing or Preacher or, or whatever. You know what I mean? That with things, things that are already, already established uh, are the easiest ways to get in there, you know, like there's lots of comics that deal with TV shows and movies and stuff. Those are the, those are the easiest, most accessible ways to get somebody into reading a comic. Anyway, um, I hope this uh, first little short uh, lesson there was uh, was profitable for you. Uh, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this video. And remember, uh, the key to getting. Uh, the water to rise for everyone is your own personal testimony, your experience, your enthusiasm. That's what's going to sell the gospel of comics. IDIC, live long and prosper. Kapla.